The death toll from a military drone strike on a village in Nigeria's Kaduna state has now risen to 120. Nigerian President Bola Tinubu has ordered an investigation into the Sunday incident. Authorities say the army drone was flying over the area during a routine security operation when it mistakenly targeted people who had gathered for a religious event. Our correspondent Tessa Makende has more details. These people are lucky to be alive after the incident on December the 3rd. Doctors and nurses in local hospitals have been dealing with a major medical emergency as they try to save the lives of those injured in the military drone strike. Some are already in the theater. We are going to assess the extent of injuries. Right? Some have very blunt abdominal injuries. Some have lacerating uh, abdominal injuries with so much massive bleeding. State authorities say military personnel were on a routine mission fighting armed groups in the region when they deployed the armed drone leading to the tragedy. More than 80 of those who died have already been buried, while many others who were wounded are receiving treatment. As dentally, uh, the mission affected members of the community. Search and rescue efforts are still ongoing as dozens of injured victims have been evacuated. Relatives of those who died have been calling for justice. Community leaders have been trying to ease tensions in the area following the incident. We have been enjoined that we should inform our people of the government's position on this. So we are going back now to the people to explain what actually happened so that tension will be minimized. Kaduna State has witnessed increased insecurity in recent years. Last year, armed groups attacked a moving train and killed eight passengers and kidnapped 168 others. Nigeria's army chief and other senior military personnel have visited the community where the incident occurred Sunday night to commiserate with the people. The authorities have promised to ensure such an incident doesn't happen again. The government says it will cover the medical bills of those injured during the drone strike. It's trying its best to reassure the public even as it faces growing pressure to ensure that innocent people are not targeted again during such military operations. Tasum Akende, CGTN Jobs.